119 pounds. Our first Wadsworth finals of the night. Wadsworth came into came into these finals with a four and a half point lead over the St. Ed's Eagles. St. Ed's, however, wins, wins the state title at 103. To bring things within a point. Finalist is Kagan Squire of Wadsworth. This is his first state final. Squire comes in here at a 40 and 3. Won a 6 1 decision in the semifinal, but he has a tall order here tonight as he is going up against Jerome Robinson, defending state champion from St. Ignatius. Robinson headed to Old Dominion next season, one of the top ranked 119 pounders in the country. He's 28 2 on the season. They announce Robinson and Squire. Squire in the white and red of the Wadsworth Grizzlies. Robinson the white and gold of St. Ignatius. And this will be one of our better finals. Also, I'll advertise for our website on the match next. Matt next to us, we have Ty Mitch and Nick Freshetta. Two state finals, you can check that out for wrestling, but this is gonna be a great one too. So we go out of bounds, now 20 seconds in. A win here would be huge for Wadsworth. They need to match what Heil did at 103. Although Heil allowing that late reversal could come back to bite Eds. Especially if an upset like this would happen, Squire could defeat Robinson. Robinson in on a nice single, cuts it to a double here in front of us. That's going to be two. As Jerome Robinson scores the first points here in the 119 pound final. Like we said, Robinson is a consensus top five wrestler in the country. Headed to wrestle for Steve Martin at Old Dominion next year. Robinson will cut him. Robinson very comfortable on his feet. But I don't think I saw him on top once in his semi yesterday. And he cruised to a 12-2 major decision. Robinson has been virtually untested here in the state tournament. So he has two majors and a seven point decision. He's in on another shot on Squire. Tries to hook around the head. Rather than go for five, he'll... Robinson wisely avoids trying to cradle straight from his feet. Instead cuts to a double, secures his two points. His lead now 4-1, 28 seconds to go. Has Squire flattened out. Said Squire, just a sophomore, making his first state finals appearance. His brother Brad is also in finals, where he'll go head to head with the St. Ed's wrestler in what could decide our team title. Robinson lifts, comes down in front of us. We have a classic going on next to us. Like I said, once you're done watching this, check out Ty Bersh Nick Bruschetta and Ty Mitch, Division II Finals. Just a great crop of 119 pounders in Ohio this year. Between, we end the first 4-1, but between Squire Robinson are both national caliber kids on this mat. You have another two top 10 wrestlers on the mat beside me. I mean, that's four of the top 15 119 pounders in the same state. Not many places can claim that. Oh, and by the way, Hunter Stevens on that one. How could that have slipped my mind? To make that four top six wrestlers, five in the top 12. Might be the best class that any state has across the country, this 119 pound class in Ohio. Robinson now leads 4 to 2 after the escape by Squire. Robinson's got good wrist control. Plus has the elbow tied up. Good shot there by Squire, but Robinson sprawled out. Robinson is quick as a cat. 
Robinson, I also believe, will be in the running, if not the recipient of the Academic All-American spot. An extremely bright kid in addition to a talented wrestler. So the type of kid you want to see be successful, and he certainly has so far here. One minute to go here in the second. Robinson still leads 4-2. Robinson also is a tiny 119 pounder. It was noticeably smaller than Corey Mines when they were standing next to each other at the Fred Champions. Mines just won their title at 112. Go out of bounds, 45 seconds to go. Robinson again, good tie. He's got a tie in the wrist, elbow controlled. That's really where great any any great offense in your feet starts with being able to use your hands effectively. Robinson certainly has done that so far. Get a warning on Squire for backing up. Certainly the Ignatius coaches are happy about that as they've been barking for that for the last five or six seconds. And we will end up one second left here in the second as a huge roar comes. This is and we'll take one up. We'll take one second off the clock. As we go to the third period, Jerome Robinson leads Kagan Squire 2-0. In front of a packed house here at Value City Arena, the Schottenstein Center at Ohio State University. It's been a great facility all weekend. A well-run, well-hosted event by the, the folks here in Columbus. Like Robinson maybe lost a contact. Pick something up off the mat. The Squire's gonna need to take down to tie this up. Has not really been close to anything offensively so far. As Robinson, though he only leads by two, has really controlled the bout. Robinson wants to work things back to the center with a minute 20 left. Squires. Just, there's Squires' first real shot attempt in about a period and a half. Robinson cuts it off pretty easily. Robinson just has given Squire nothing to work with here. Scored two sharp takedowns in the first. And just very workmanlike, his controlled ties, give himself some chances, not really let Squire get anything going. And Wadsworth really could use this one. I think it's one they're not definitely not expected to win. But with with Hiles win at 103, they're gonna need to try and match Ed's champ for champ. As their lead is just four and a half. Now 30 seconds to go. Jerome Robinson has a two-point lead. Now is in on a single. He could extend this and really could extend this and really secure things. Now 17 to go. He's trying to lift, cut that to a double. Should be two. It is. Robinson gets his two. Cuts him to now lead 6-3. Looks like Jerome Robinson will win his second state title. As time expires and Jerome Robinson of Cleveland St. Ignatius back-to-back -back state titles. Great win over Kagan Squire of Wadsworth. Runner-up is just a sophomore. He certainly will be back here. But the story right now is the senior winning his second title, shakes the Wadsworth coaches, now gets a hug from his own. Great way to end such a fine young man's career.